Governor Asa Hutchinson announced new times for restaurants, bars, and clubs that will be activated tonight. But some businesses and their owners don't think this is enough. Mandy Knoll joining us live now from the River Market with more on how long these businesses can stay open now. Mandy? Well, we're seeing a record number of cases across states, uh, across the country, and so a lot of states are taking new precautions. They're putting them into place. Arkansas is no different. The governor's directive says bars and restaurants, anywhere that sells alcohol is going to have to close by 11 p.m. now through January 3rd. The governor says he's following the recommendations of his newly appointed winter COVID-19 task force. But one business owner says if the governor isn't going to set any additional guidelines, she will. I think we need to take a serious look at where the spread is occurring, uh, possibly bars and restaurants. Um, I'm expecting at some point soon to have to close the restaurant for dine-in and go back to just curbside and home delivery. That's the owner of Trio's restaurant. She's already reduced in-person dining to just 25% capacity. She says she's going to consider if she has to go into just curbside only. She says she's trying to do her part in slowing the spread. So let's talk about that curfew. Like I said, it goes through 11 p.m. every night. Anywhere that sells alcohol is going to have to close by 11 p.m. This is going through January 3rd as of now. So it includes the Thanksgiving holidays, uh, includes Christmas, and also includes... New Year's Eve, which is, of course, at midnight, so bars are going to have to close before the ball drops. Now, if you violate those, there could be a fine of $100 to $500, or you could have to spend a month in jail, or you could have to do both. So, pretty stiff penalties for places that violate that.